Hello, the topic I've decided to study today is the MetaQuest 3. The reason why I've decided to study the MetaQuest 3 as my topic today is that the MetaQuest 3 is a virtual and alternate reality headset as well as being a mixed reality headset. And it is developed by Reality Labs, which is a subdivision of the Meta Platforms. Uh, the Meta Platforms. It was first announced <clears throat> on June 1st, 2023 and it was released on October 10th, 2023, so it's pretty new as of today. And it was meant as a direct upgrade to the MetaQuest 2. The difference between the MetaQuest 2 and 3 are mainly that the MetaQuest 3 has cameras on the front as well as sensors so that you can have mixed reality, which mixed reality with that means you can play more games in you, you can play games in your reality as well as watching videos or doing anything in your reality with like screens. <clears throat> it is very similar to the Apple Vision Pro, but not as good. <clears throat> Another big difference is the processor that they both run off. The MetaQuest 2 ran off the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 1 chip, which is not as good as the one that the MetaQuest 3 runs off of, which is the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 which gives it way more raw graphical performance than the, <clears throat> than the first Snapdragon chip. The Quest 3 is mainly controlled with controllers, specifically the Touch Plus controllers, which are controllers that are ran off of AA batteries and are not rechargeable. But they are also, it's also able to use the Touch Pro controllers, which come out the Quest Pro. And it can also do hand tracking and the hand tracking is not as good as you something you would see in the uh, Apple Vision Pro, but is also pretty good as well. The MetaQuest 3 comes in two different storage options. Storage options, which are 128 gigabytes, which cost $500, and 600 or 512 gigabytes, which cost $650. And it runs off of eight gigabytes of RAM, which is LPDDR5 RAM, which means it is very fast. And <clears throat> Since it runs off the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, it is a very fast piece of hardware. And <clears throat> it is also ran off the Quest system software, like all the other Quest all the other Quest VR headsets. And the Quest software is made with Android source code. It the main display that it has is an LD, LCD display that can run 2K and even 4K sometimes, which is 2064 by 228 which is a big major upgrade over the MetaQuest 2 because the MetaQuest 2 could only run around 2K or even 1080p with it having an 1832 by 1920 display. But that's all I have. Bye.